Welcome to Saline, Florida. Today I'm going to be giving you the briefing on the Helia 44 Boldly Go. In the cupboard, right above the refrigerator, you will see your AC panel. You have your outlets, microwave, salon, and the main. This main energizes this panel, so make sure you turn the main on first. The panel in the cupboard, above that, we have another AC panel. You got your air conditionings here air conditioning is here and this one in particular is very important no matter which air conditioning you have you have to turn on the air conditioning pump hot water and inverter charger to charge the batteries you have to make sure that is on these breakers right here right now this is for shore power and then if you were on generator you slide this over and turn that on Please turn on one unit at a time. Don't turn them all at once under generator. On the port side of the boat, right where the stairs are as you go down, you will see this panel. This is your DC panel. Right here you have your navigation lights, and the navigation lights if you're motoring, mooring light, search light. We have navigation instruments, which I'm gonna turn on because we're gonna be using them later. Hall lights, just turns on the cabin lights. Refrigerator, fresh water pump, seawater pump for your anchor. These bilges are automatic, right over here. You will hear a noise like this every time it turns on. Another refrigerator right here, courtesy lights, Wi-Fi, auxiliary, and propane. If you're using a stove, you will need to have this on, which we'll be talking about it shortly. So the DC panel here, you have your generator. To turn it on, you hit the start button once. And then you hold down the start button and it says starting. And there we go, she's on. Make sure all the AC side is off before turning this on. That's the way you turn it off. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is check through hall fitting. So back to the port side where the DC panel was. I've already opened up the floors. Here we have a uh, through hall fitting for a toilet inlet. As we walk to the back of the boat, we have an air conditioning pump and another through hall for a uh, toilet, which this boat uses fresh water, so it doesn't get used. As we walk back up the stairs and go to the starboard side, this is the master. And back down. Here we have another air conditioning and strainer and another pump. This is your generator, pump, and strainer. This one's a little different. You need to remove these bolts to get access to the strainer. And the through-haul fitting is down there. And here's your other air conditioning. As I walk towards the bow, you have another toilet inlet, which again, it uses fresh water. That gray box is your gray water that goes right overboard above the water line. There's one on the other side as well. As you walk into the head, you will notice the shower. And here are the knobs, hot and cold. There's that. As you turn left, you have a toilet right here. And here are the controls. Pretty much you, all you have to do is look at the pictures and it tells you what it's doing. Here we have one of the two air conditioning pumps. To clean the strainer, you go to the through hall, you would turn that through hall to the off position, which is that lever, unscrew that strainer. Please do not lose the O-ring that's on the strainer. Remove the basket, clean it, and put it back on, and then open up the through hall and check for leaks. At that time, once you check for leaks, you can turn the air conditionings back on. Like the stove, first you have to make sure 
you go down the stairs and turn on the propane right here, which I already have turned on. And then you go over here, the controls, and then you turn that to the on position. You hear a click. Then here we have, you push in and turn and hold it in, a quarter turn there, and hit the ignite button, and it lights up. Hold it for about five seconds, and then release. There is a lighter provided for you as well, if it doesn't want to light with the automatic. To turn it off, turn it like this to the off position. You go over here, turn this off, and then you come back over here and hit this to the off position. I said propane. Right under the stove to the right, you have a freezer. Right where the AC panel was, there's the AC panel. You have two refrigerators. They look exactly like this. Your Volvo Pentas, sorry for the noise. It's a little choppy today. But back in this corner, right there, is your strainer for your engine. Okay, all you gotta do is unscrew the cap. Take the white basket out, clean it, and put it back in, and then hand tighten. Do not over tighten the strainer. The other side is the same way. Here you have also two water pumps, so if one goes bad, you can switch. There's a toggle switch right there, and there's a lever right there to switch from one to the other. I have removed the seating area right here next to the nav desk. So in here you have your toolkit, you got some flares, you got spare parts, all in there. Up on the shelf you got your binoculars, another set of flares, and an air horn. On top of the nav desk you'll find this book, and inside you'll find your registration, documentation, insurance, and all that great stuff. You'll also find our charts right here and are customized for the local area. And you'll also see a downtown guide right here. So if you wish to explore downtown while you're here visiting us, you can't get lost. Outside in the seating area, right here, if you open that up, You will notice all your life preservers are in here. You also have some dock lines in here as well. On the other side, another area, which we have more dock lines, a boat hook, extra oil, and stuff like that. Bolson's chair. Hopefully, you won't need that. This boat is equipped with one 50 amp power cord. Before departing, make sure you turn off the main and the air conditioning. Then you follow the yellow cord to the dock. Inside this pedestal, you see a, a 50 amp breaker. Turn it to the off position, and then you're safe to unplug. To turn on and off the engines is a two-step process. First, you gotta hit the on-off button. This lights up. After it finishes right there then you can hit the start button works the same way here on the other side they're both running just to let you know your windlass won't work with the engines off you always have to have the engines running for your anchor windlass to work to turn off the engine you it's a two-step process you hit stop and then hold the on off button like that. Same thing. So it has a nice, huge Raymarine chart plotter. I know it's hard to see because it's a computer here, but it's a real nice one. Here you have uh, your instruments, your wind, 13 knots right now, your autopilot. To engage the autopilot, all you have to do is hit auto. Now it's engaged. 
it's hydraulic, your wheel will still be free, but it's disengaged. To disengage the autopilot, you would hit the standby button right here, and then it gives you full control again. Here are your throttle controls right here. A solar panel on the back. Here you have your jib furler. You would undo that. Then you gotta open the lever there and then pull on a jib sheet. Which there's one right there. And the other one goes way in that hole back in there. It's a black one. That traveler controlled as well right there. Main sheet is right here. Which please refer to the other video for instructions on properly raising the main. Port side of the boat, up of the bow. Here's the mast. Right there's your water fill. Your only tank. You see your windlass, and then you see a remote. It says up and down. The engine has to be on for this to work. As we do a quick walk here, it's a waste. Walk further back, down the steps. And you're bringing it upward. Make sure your plug is in if you're using it. The back corner, with diesel. Walk around to the other side. We have another waste another way. At the nav desk, right above it, you see your VHF and your stereo. To turn on your stereo, you just hit the power button once. The VHF is right above it. Again, it's this little circle right here. You hit that, and you gotta wait for it to load. It gives you like a software version, and you just hit the OK button by just hitting here. And it takes you to 16. You do have a repeater up top, and uh, and uh, so you can talk on the VHF from up there. To the right, you got your your water gauge, your fuel gauge, and the battery conditions, which currently were plugged in. That's why it's at 100%. You will notice four of these air conditioning controls throughout the boat. To turn them on, you would hit the power button right here, and then. Gives you the current temperature. It's hard to read, but it says cool right up here. Just set your desired temperature and, goes, and it goes from there. This mode setting right here, you can go from cool to heat to auto. You've got fan speed right here. So, and, okay, and that's about it. On the port side of the boat, you see a swim ladder. And to the left, here we have a shower. And then here are the controls for the shower. You got your dinghy there. You got a winch here for the dinghy. Just let you know, we have this is electric, and we have one electric at the head. Here's the button. Under the stairs to the helm, you find a life raft on this vessel and your boat hook. This switch is right here. Boat is equipped with a barbecue grill. Your controls are right here. And it uses the propane solenoid and the internal propane tank to use. So in other words, you got to hit the propane switch and then go to the left of the stove and clip that little button to activate the propane flow to the grill. Well, that concludes the briefing for this beautiful Helia 44 Boldly Go, and I hope you enjoy yourself.